Hello, welcome back. Um, in the last video, we managed to get basic item uh, image uploading working. In this video, we're going to tidy it up and try and get it into some sort of production-ready state, you know? That is the vibe. So, the first thing I'm going to do, I think, is focus on this error page here, okay? Um, let's do that just now. So, if we go to store items like this, you'll see that if there's an error, it tries to... Uh, well, it figures out what the error message is as an array, and it tries to display this on... It, it basically tries to display the, the upload form, you know? Um, so, what I think we'll do is we'll copy this... Well, actually, first of all, first of all, something I wanted to show you. Do you see how on the URL we are now passing in the item ID, right? Let's add the update ID in here at the top and let's just say if not is numeric item ID then we divert them away and let's add in some site security as well and make sure that they are logged in, okay? Fair enough. Just a little bit of security, nothing to worry about. Um, now I'm going to take this here, I'm going to paste in this stuff that's going to load up the form again. Okay, and this error business, oops, we're going to add that on to the data array. Okay, that's the vibe, and let's uh, give it a... Actually, I don't know why they space things out like this. That's weird. I've never seen that before. I'll tidy that up. I don't know, maybe that's how they do things these days. Who knows? Um, anyway, I'll say upload. At this point, it would be upload error. And do that. Right, so let's just hit refresh. Okay, so it's trying to do, uh, it's trying to display the errors here on the create page. Sorry, the upload item page. Let's bring that up. Okay, but of course it, it doesn't really know how to do that. So the vibe is we want to loop through the errors and display them. Now, a key question at this point is how did we do this in the past? Remember, you can display errors a whole bunch of different ways. There's, you know, alerts, you can have red text, you can have the form input thing goes red, who knows? The only vibe is be consistent. So I'm going to have a look at the create and just remember how we did this in the past. So you can see that validation errors, we had a new paragraph and it was red. Okay, so that's kind of interesting. And that's exactly what we're going to do in this case. Okay, so everything in this site is going to be nice and consistent. Um, so for each error, blah, 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 blah. Let's just say echo. And we'll do something like that. And do something like that. Okay. So now if we hit refresh. Uh, you did not select a file to upload. Why is it not making it red? That's really strange. Hang on. Important. Come on, man. <laughs> well, isn't that just... Fantastic! Isn't that just the joys of computing in full formation? What's going on here? Echo, P, style, equals color, red. Let me just see what's happening. Is there a typo? Maybe? Yeah, there must have been a typo. It's right in front of me, folks, but I cannot see it. Why is that? This is like the twilight zone, you know? They're the same, right? Are they the same? They look the same to me. And yet one of them... Okay. There's something weird going on there, but I'm not going to worry about it. Look at that. They're exactly the same, anyway. That is strange. Let me just try something. How strange is that? It's the value thing. 
Ah, do you know what it is? Could it be to do with that? Display errors? I don't even know. I do not even know. Um, got an idea. Got an idea. P style equals color red. Let's do it in here. Okay. So we'll do some tags here. I bet this works. I absolutely bet that this works. Echo value. Here we go. Yes, thank you very much. My genius knows no limits. So there must have been something in there making it um, go uh, grey, you know. Uh, let me just try something else here. No harm in a bit of simplification, right? So that's our error message and that is pretty cool. I'm happy with that. We now have graceful errors. Of course, we don't have a very graceful form going on. So I'm going to go back to that Yanux thing. Do you remember that? And there's a page here called forms and we have a nice form here. This is what the forms should look like. Look at the difference, right? Rubbish. Here's the nice one. Nice. See, we want a nice form. So I'm going to view the page source. I'm going to have a little look for file input. And here we are. It all looks kind of cool. So we'll copy that. We'll go to the upload image thing. Um, paste in here, maybe, and uh, let's, for the moment, only for the moment, folks, I'm going to comment out the nice form that we got from the Code Igniter site. Now, it works, it's a good form, but it looks kind of rubbish. Right now, I'm only interested in making this thing look nice, okay? So, uh, let's hit refresh. Okay, and that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Uh, let's just tidy this up. We don't need that. And we don't need that. And let's do a little bit of spacing. Whoops. Uh, I get nervous when I see these gaps here. It messes things up. You know, when I'm doing this vertical selection thing. So let's try again, something like that. Okay, so if we hit refresh, here we go. So that's not too bad at all. Um, let me just go back a little step if that's okay. Uh, upload image, so this is the basic vibe. And I think we should have a sentence in here with some instructions. So please choose a file from your computer and then press upload. Okay, let's change this so that it says upload. Uh, that's good. Let's have a look at this. Okay, and um, let's do, let me just see. Let's do a little bit of style, height equals 200. Something like that, and we'll do another last bit of styling here. Margin top, do we even need this? I don't know if we do, I'm not much of a designer, but I'm trying to make it look kind of decent. Can you handle that? So here's the vibe, and that is the vibe. Okay, now we lost the errors, we lost everything, and it's all basically uh, junk. Because remember, we we no longer have this cool code igniter functionality in. So let's add it back into the site, right? First thing we'll do is we'll add this, whoops, we'll get this um, name user file added on to this here, to the file input thing, right? So that's that sorted, good. Uh, next, we will sort out the form um, tag here. Notice we've got this class form horizontal. This is going to become important in just a minute. Let me just show you what's happening. I'm going to do this 
Here's our code igniter stuff, right? That's nice. Thank you very much. And if you go to the code igniter user guide and we have a look at the form helper. Okay, well, actually, let me show you the problem that I'm trying to solve here, just so you know, right? I want you to remember this code here, form horizontal, right? Because when we take this out, watch what happens. Watch this, it's going to look rubbish. Okay, see? Looks kind of rubbish. However, if we go to the Code Igniter user guide, you'll see that there's an attributes thing here. And we can add that on to the form. So check this out. Attributes equals. Now the class is going to be set to form dash horizontal. Like that, okay? So we've now added on this ID that says form horizontal to the form opening tag. What does that do? Well, if we hit refresh, look, everything looks uh, awful. Hold on. Oh, yeah. I <laughs> have to do comma attributes. Here we go. Refresh. And everything looks just fantastic. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? Is that not the coolest thing ever? So uh, now if we do upload, the error messages work. Everything's cool and all is well. Now let's... Um, sorry, this chair. I've got to stand up a second. Oh, man, my neck's going. I'm going to finish this soon. Right, okay, let's do the cancel button. Now, at the moment, it does this reset thing. I'm not into that at all. I just think that's an uncool vibe. I would much rather have it so that if somebody presses cancel, then let's divert them away, okay? So let's just say um, submit equals this input post submit true and we'll say if submit is equivalent to cancel sorry then redirect store items create update id so let's test that out i'm going to hit refresh going to uh, press cancel and there we go. Okay, things are looking pretty good here. So all we have to do now is the success page and then uh, we're just about there. Um, so let's just see how that works. So right now it does do upload, well done, blah, 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 and all of that stuff. And then it has this upload success page. So let's uh, copy some code from above. We want this wrapped around our nice template so that's why i'm pasting this stuff in okay and uh, we're going to have upload success Jeez, sorry what did i just do what on earth did i just do there ah have you ever had the feeling you've just broken something uh, i'll start that again sorry 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 um i have a big microphone in front of the screen and i can hardly see what i'm doing you know uh, upload success right there we go and the headline would be upload success we don't need this error message thing anymore okay and uh, let's just see view file templates uh, data equals upload data yep that's kind of cool we could definitely use that Okay, so now if we do um, a successful upload, like so, if we hit upload, it takes us, oh geez, we've not added an upload success page in. Can you believe it? Okay, uh, new file, upload underscore success.php and this upload success is going to be remarkably similar to the thing that we've got on this store items page here. So it's going to be very similar to this here. We don't need this if statement. And 
this is going to say upload success and in the content well this is where we're going to borrow some stuff from the code igniter site again um, if we go to file uploading and here is the success page uh, something like this your file was successfully uploaded okay um, let's just give that a try it won't be perfect but let's give it a try okay so if we do continue there we go your file was successfully uploaded gives you some information and that's all cool now I'm gonna do a couple of things to uh, improve this and make it more consistent with what we're doing I'll make this um, let's make this one of those alert things but with a green background you know what I mean so let's do something like uh, class equals is it something like that alert dash success is that how we do that I can't remember oh yeah there we go file was successfully uploaded and then see upload another file let's change that we really need to change that and we'll have that as a button again uh, type equals button class equals button button dash primary and then we'll have um, let's see return to main update item page so this is going to go to a href equals the, this line is going to be about two miles long here and that's quite uncool so I'm going to jump in here and say edit item URL equals base URL store items create and then update ID okay that's why we wanted to pass the update ID across so in here we're just gonna say edit item URL like so do that and return to main update item page update item actually I'll call it update item details page okay so upload an image we do this we do this we hit upload looks kind of cool um, I think I'm gonna leave it at that uh, there's other things to do still we we need to update the database and stuff and thumbnails and everything like that but I'm gonna save that for the next video I don't want to get too I don't want to make these videos too long okay so thanks very much I'll see you in the next video bye